A day cannot be completed without any information in it. That is why it is always expedient that we look for information. Here on Samiflex TV, we are about to even give you more. Get ready for the quick news. My name is Samiflex and I'm here with my team. That is the winning team on the Samiflex TV, led by K-Boy of K-Boy Multimedia and the digital raster, call him currency. We've packaged good stories for you once again on the quick news today. Remember, it comes your way every weekday from 9 p.m. Just some quick mashup of all the entertainment information you need in our industry here in Ghana and beyond. I also want to say thanks to Trillium Industry Company Limited for giving us all the necessary refreshment when we want water, we drink Vena. And of course, if you want some energy, we go for Rush Energy Drink and the Rasta Chocomort also giving us all the feeling and the excitement we need to do this show. Thanks again to Bend the Trends for giving giving us the simple shirt, something casual for us to give you the quick news. Straight to number one. Now we've realized that when it comes to artists and their strength, one area that cannot be ignored will be their online influence. Team Flex TV, they have come together to do a research, a thorough research on which artist in Ghana is leading when it comes to YouTube subscribers. Because remember that it will be your subscribers that also determine how many views you would get when you release your videos or your materials on YouTube. So in today's edition of the quick news, we've taken time to go through our artists, in fact, some of our influential and our top artists in Ghana to find out who is leading YouTube subscribers. And this is how we got it, at least for the top 10. We did this for the top 10. Number 10 is Becca. Becca has 68K. Number 9 is King Promise. Legacy Life Entertainment, 81K. Number 8 is R2Bs, 81K. Number 7, Medical, 84K. Number 6, Kofi Kinata, 86K. Number five, Joe Metal, 114K. Number four, Bisakede, 152K. Number three, Stone Boy, 217K. Number two, Shatawale, 373K. And on top of the list is Sarkodie for number one, 417K. So it makes King Sark the artist with the highest number of subscribers on YouTube. Congratulations to Kinsak, and we believe that if you want to beat him, then you have to work hard and, of course, work on the brand. <laughs> because Sack natives will tell you, brand no, brand no. So once again, this is the top 10 list of artists with the highest number of subscribers on YouTube. You can also verify because Samiflex TV, we don't get it wrong. Moving straight to the next story, this is still the quick news on Samiflex TV. Ghana is celebrating the success of one boxer and this boxer is no other person than Bukum Banku aka Braima Kaboko. Obviously, we all know he is in the news for winning his first international bout in UK London to be specific. Now, let's go into the story, read it, and after that, we also show you videos. Maybe you did not see the fight yourself, but we have some one or two um, clips for you to know that Bukum Banku did not joke with the fight at all. He won with all his might and his strength. Now, the story on Ghana web says, Popular Ghanaian boxer Bukum Banku wins first fight outside Ghana. Now the story reads, popular Ghanaian boxer Brian Makamoko, better known as Bukum Banku, knocked out his Hungarian opponent, Ferenc Albert, to win his first international fight outside Africa. Now Banku earned the victory after dropping the Hungarian in round three at St. George Hall in Bradford, UK on Saturday, September 7th. Now, the self-acclaimed African Mayweather, who loves to inform his fans to attend his fight on time in order not to miss any action, was true to his words this time by ending the fight in less than 10 minutes. The current WBO African champion was denied a fight abroad by his former promoters because of an alleged eye problem. Now, prior to the fight, Ferenc had promised to knock out Banku in round three, but the Hungarian instead predicted doom for himself. Now, since his historic defeat to Bastille Samir in 2017, Banku had always wished to find his feedback, and this win definitely came at the right time. 
Everyone is singing the praises of Bukum Bankun, especially on social media, because I can confidently tell you that Ghanaians wrote him off when it comes to boxing. Nobody actually thought that Bukum Bankun could stage a comeback and still win a fight. But this victory from London is also a great sign that Bukum Bankun, if he takes his training very, very serious, he can go places. So once again, congratulations, Bankun Eba, Naestro, Bankun Bedru Ghana, and Mjanabe more. But we still wish him well. Banku, go ahead, brag because you are a champion. This is still the quick news here on Sami Flex TV, presented by Sami Flex and with his team of producers led by K Boy Multimedia and Currency, the digital rasta. Still talking about some stories making headlines in our entertainment industry here in Ghana. Manche is the CEO of Chaliwate Festival here in Ghana. He has been in the news in recent times for some one or two allegations that Samiflex TV, we are also researching. And Kobolo is now in the midst as well. Now let's read this story on mynewsgh.com, which says, Manche chases one of the Kobolo with police. I know you are asking yourself, why is Kobolo being chased by Manche with police? Let's get into the stories and we show you a video in which Kobolo was warning Manche on Facebook Live. The story says, Police are on the heels of Ghanaian Romanian musician, film director, and cultural icon Emmanuel Wusu Bonsu, known by his stage name One Love the Kobolo. Now, the musician who revealed this himself in a live Facebook video streaming, monitored by MyNewsJing.com, revealed that it is in relation to rape allegations against Charlie Water Festival Chief Executive Officer Manche Ayikwe, who is instigating the arrest, which is not sanctioned officially by the police. Now, Manche has been accused of physical and verbally assaulting people close to him, especially his ex-girlfriend, Dr. Sion Neely, who has released a statement revealing that he is prepared to come down to Ghana to testify against him. Now, one love who is not in the country at the moment reveals the Manche Ayikwe has sent personnel of the Criminal Investigation Department, CID, of the Ghana Police Service after him, wondering what his crime is in the matter that is civil. Manche started arresting people who were cited in an article about his previous scandal. The article said Manche beat his partners, but the police are not investigating the matter, but rather intimidating those of us who know about it. Manche, you sent CID to Panji's house to look for me. You are not correct. Right now, we want the commanders to investigate the police officers you sent after us. Now, if you doubt that this is a fabricated story by mynewsgh.com, watch this video where we cited Kobolo warning Manche that, bro, I'm coming to Ghana. If I come to get anything, you can still go ahead with this arrest. Meet me and let's rock it like that. Listen to Kubolo sending out this 10 warning to Manche. <laughs> There's a body in the Ghanaian government gave Charlie Wate about half a million CDs. They gave this money to Charlie Wate, mainly that means to Manche, without doing real investigation on him what are you using the bni for how do you give money to a person who has let's say it's a rumor that he has beaten his partner and exiled him all this thing why haven't you found out about this thing to see if it's true before giving this guy this money so now that the government too has given manche this money for chaliwati they also now will support him through whether police or whatever to cover their bad which means now Chaliwate has become a government property. The fact that, let's forget about Manche. Police are looking for me. Police are looking for me to arrest me or question me. Why are police looking for me? Why isn't the media writing about that? Why are you writing about the fact that I want to walk around naked? Stupid, stupid stories. You are a disgrace, all of you. All of you who are not coming out to condemn Manche to point out how he's using the police wrongfully. I mean, Manche sent police to Panji's house to look for me. You, Manche, you have been sitting at Panji's house. You know how we all feel free over there and sit there. What if the police just walk into Panji's house? You are sending police to Panji's house. Panji. All right, so very soon, we are expecting um, Kobolo to touch down here in Ghana for the showdown to continue. Now going for our very last story in today's edition of the Quick News, which comes your way every weekday from 9 p.m. Shatawale is still raining. 
his reign doesn't seem to be ending soon. Over the weekend, Shatawale was in Cape Coast. And uh, then a news report here says Shatawale brings Cape Coast to a standstill. Everywhere he goes, he wins, just like MTN. Now, Charles Niyama means and popularly known as Shatawale, brought the central regional capital of Cape Coast to a standstill with back-to-back -back performance. Uh, the event monitored by mynewsgenie.com saw Shatawale give his teaming fans in Cape Coast something to cheer about as he mounted the stage to do most of his hit tracks. Now he blew the expectations of thousands, maybe tens of thousands filled the street of Cape Coast to celebrate the Fetu Afashe festival. Now the crowd went wild when it was announced that Shatawale himself was coming on stage as the excitement could be heard all over the Cape Coast township. As usual, he did not disappoint his fans and audience as most people were going gaga already. Now the Fetu Afashe is a festival celebrated by the chiefs and peoples of Cape Coast in the central region of Ghana. The festival is celebrated on the first day in the month of September every year. The Fetua Fasha is celebrated annually by the Ogwa people of Cape Coast because in the past there was an outbreak of disease among the people that killed many. The people prayed to the gods to help them to get rid of the disease. Thus, the festival is celebrated to keep their town clean and to prevent another epidemic befalling the people. This has been the quick news. It's a mashup of all the trending stories in the entertainment industry in Ghana, put together by Team Samiflex TV, led by K-Boy Multimedia and the Digital Rasta Currency. I have just one name, and I'm still telling you that if it is about energy, let's go for a rush energy drink as we say thank you to Trillium Company Limited for supporting us in what we do here on Samiflex TV. If you want to look casual, why don't you also try Bend the Trends? For your casual wears and for every occasion they will make you look and stand out so good my name is sammy flex to meet again tomorrow at nine it is cheers from me